Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial. Uh, in this video, we are going to create some organic light bulbs in Rhino. As you can see, we have some patterns on these spheres, uh, which are located in this part of my viewport. And um, we should start from an uh, empty Rhino. So I go to another Rhino and uh, I go to front view and I start my modeling process. First of all, I go to sub tools panel and then uh, start with, for example, a, a sub plane. So I click on it and I make sure that the Y count and X count is uh, set on uh, one. So uh, it's cool and now I start drawing. So for the first panel, I create this and I uh, change the display mode of Softy tool. So I click on this icon and as you can see, we have it in a rectangular shape. So uh, I hold down Ctrl and Shift and I click on this edge. I uh, hold this circle here and bring it to this part. And again, uh, for example, here and then I uh, move it to for example this point actually it's too much it's a little bit better uh, and now another one and move it to for example here and then again I uh, extrude this edge to this part and again to this part now uh, I should uh, make some changes in it so hold down Control and shift again and bring this to this point I guess it's not too bad and um, I click on it and I go to reflect sub the object to make a, a mirror shape out of this uh, object that I've created here so I define the axis of um, mirror or reflection and I left click here and I click on um, enter okay I have it here and I go to perspective as you can see I have uh, two shapes uh, which are mm, the reflection of each other so any change that I uh, make in this part will appear on the other part too for example if I click on this vertex and move it here you can see that it's going to uh, uh, mirror on the other part too so um, I think everything is set up and now um, I uh, remove uh, this part from the mirror part in order to have uh, a unit a, a united object so I click on remove sub symmetry and I click on this and right click okay now I have this so I um, exit from this selection filter and I go to uh, edge selection filter double click here now I've selected these lines these edges and do this extrusion like that okay another one that's it okay and now I want to uh, actually choose these vertices, vertices here and bring them to this part okay uh, and now I switch my display mode so you can see that I've uh, created this here and now again uh, I will hold down um, control shift and bring this down here and for this one too okay and uh, I will choose the entire uh, edge loops and extrude them to for example here okay let's see yeah I've created it and I like the result so um, I just want to make some changes here uh, it's too much all right 
All right, I like it. Now, uh, I want to uh, make some scale difference. So I just do this. Okay. Uh, and now, the thing that I want to do is that create a copy from it by holding down Alt. And uh, I draw a sphere by going to uh, this command and I create this move it for example to here and I hide this uh, type create UV curve and right click to have it unrolled um, and now I uh, rotate it and I hold shift to make a sharp rotation here and I move it to uh, C plane like this okay and do some uh, scale 1D like that okay uh, now I move it to here and I click on it I go to rectangular array and number in, a number in x direction would be for example uh, 10 uh, the other ones would be 1 1 and now I create my uh, you know array I want more I want for example 12 okay right click it's all right and now uh, this curve should be uh, changed to a planner surface so I click on surface from planner curves and now I click all of them and uh, I make a group out of them okay and I want to uh, flow these objects to this surface so I go to uh, flow along surface I choose the base plane and now I choose my uh, target plane as you can see my uh, bulb is created I click on all of them Control G to make a group and hide them so now that I have this uh, sphere I change the sphere layer to uh, default actually it was and these uh, new objects created to this layer okay uh, I go to material I choose custom and I change the color for example to uh, this tune of gray and I make some uh, reflectivity gloss finish for these objects and for this one I choose custom and I go to uh, this color okay and make some transparency reflectivity and gloss finish okay so let's see uh, what we have created Uh, for the glass object I need something to change it I need uh, to change something uh, I go to here and I make it like this it's not so important and all right transparency could be for example like this and reflectivity can be here okay so I have created my uh, light bulb and I go to for example top and uh, turn on the project go to cylinder and make a cylinder here for example like this and bring it to here and again 
go to top control C control V this time hold down shift okay and again go to front and bring it up here and make some scale okay and now draw a line like this and make a pipe for it for example 0 0.066 and the, the um, wire is created it's too thin I do it again with 0 0.1 I go to perspective, go to top, bring it here, okay, and actually you can uh, make some changes here, for example like this, in perspective you have it uh, in a better view. Now uh, I will do some uh, copy like that and make a group control G and I want to change this color I don't like it okay now I go to top I uh, create a box alright like this and now I create some copies Okay, I have created my light bulbs and I go to uh, rendered viewport and as you can see it's created. Uh, for this box I change it to another layer, for example to this one. Okay, and for this bases two. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. Feel free to ask any questions that you have. Uh, I will answer them as soon as possible in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe and um, uh, also you can uh, share our channel with your friends. See you soon on next tutorials.